Hello, this is Mark from tradeinform.com and welcome to this video on how to calculate the Connors RSI in Excel. In this video, I will show you how to calculate the three different elements that go into creating Connors RSI and then how to put them together. Over the course of this video, I will be creating a spreadsheet and this spreadsheet is available as a free download. And there is a link on the screen and below as to how you can get this free spreadsheet. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Also remember to subscribe for more comment and also for more content and also to comment below and let me know what other videos you would like me to record. Connors RSI is created from three separate indicators. The first of these indicators is the normal RSI. The second indicator is the RSI of the streak. And the streak simply refers to the number of consecutive up closes or down closes. And the third indicator is the relative magnitude of the recent price change. And what this means is how does the most recent price change as a percentage compare to a period, to the preceding period. So we're going to calculate Connor's RSI in the spreadsheet on the screen. Then the calculations do start out slowly, you'll soon see that we will be able to take shortcuts and things will speed up and by the end you will be amazed at how easily you'll be able to calculate Connor's RSI and understand what goes into the indicator. So we start off with an if statement. Calculating the RSI we need to look at up days and down days. So we calculate for the gains equals if the current close is greater than the previous close, then we take the difference between them. Otherwise, do nothing. And for losses, if the current close is lower than the previous close, then we take the difference between them. Now, if I highlight these and double click, they'll be copied down to all the cells below and you can see that these are always expressed as a positive number. Now, the next thing we need to do is create an average value from these gains and losses. And we always start out with a mean average and we use the formula equals average. Now, the next average that I'm going to calculate is what is often referred to as the Wells Wilder average. And it is quite easy to calculate. What we need to do is take the current value and add to it the previous value multiplied by the number of periods, press F4, minus 1. And then we divide all of that by the number of periods. I can copy that down. Now we can start to take a few shortcuts. And the first one is we can just copy this over and it calculates the average of the losses. And likewise, we can copy this over and it calculates the next set of averages. Now relative strength we use equals the gains divided by the losses. And finally, to calculate the RSI, we use a formula 100 minus 100 divided by 1 plus relative strength. And what exactly, or how this works, is not important. But what it does is make this relative strength value into the RSI 
by converting it into a bounded indicator between 0 and 100. And I can copy that down. So there I've shown you quite how easy it is to make a standard RSI. Now the next thing is to look at the streak. A streak is the number of consecutive of either up closes or down closes. And once again, we are going to use an if statement. And the streak is always dependent on the previous value. So this is going to be our reference value. The previous value is the cell above. So equals if the previous value is equal to or greater than zero, this means we're in a positive streak. So if we have another positive value, in other words, this close is greater than this close, then we're just going to add one. So the streak will increase by one. Now, if we're in a positive streak, so that once again equal or two or greater than zero, and we have a negative close. So the close is lower than the previous. Then we will start a new down streak. So what else might happen? Well, we might also be in a negative streak. So if this is lower than or equal to zero, and we might be continuing that negative streak. In which case this will be previous value minus one. Now if we're on a negative streak the final scenario and we have a change of streak so this is greater then we're going to start a new positive streak. Now we've got the four main scenarios but there is a fifth and that is if we have a close value equal to the previous close. So if this happens then we're going to have a value of zero. And we can copy this down to all the cells below. Now you might see that we've got greens and reds here and this is conditional formatting. This is one of the big advantages of using Excel for your trading analysis in that you can see what is going on. We can use things like colors and different formatting to highlight where things change, where we've got a change of trend, and see how it compares to the numbers. Now, what we need here is another RSI. Well, we've just made one RSI, so surely we can just recycle these formulas. Well, of course we can. So the only thing we need to do is make sure we're lining up our columns. So you can see here the gains here, if I double click here, it's taking values from the close. And you see in between these, we've got a column. Now if I'm just gonna stick in a spare column here, then all I need to do is highlight, copy, paste. And there, all the formulas have been copied across. Get rid of that column that we no longer need. I can redo my form formatting and get the bottom cell, highlight it, copy it down. And there we have an RSI of the streak and that took about 15 seconds to do that. So that's a nice shortcut. It shows you how once we've got the principles established, we can start to get quicker. So the next thing, the final element is the daily return. Simply, current close minus the previous close divided by the previous close. This is expressed as a percentage. We can copy those now. Now we need to calculate the relative magnitude of the price change, of the recent price change. So I'm going to use a look back period of 100 periods. 100 days in this case because we're using daily data. So I'm going to compare this value here to the previous 100. 
and we can do that quite easily using built-in Excel functions. We just need to figure out which one is going to help us. And in this case, I'm going to use count if. And it's going to be count if this value is lower than all of the previous values, count how many there are. So the first thing it's asking us for is the range. So I'm just going to highlight it like so. I've got my range, comma. Now my criteria, I'm going to use lower than. And I'm going to use an ampersand. And this is because I want this cell to change as we go down. So it's that cell. And you can see here that we have zero values in the previous 100 that are lower than minus 4.03. 64 values are lower than 0.42. Now, this is part of the sum. The final part is dividing that by the total number of values. And to get the total number of values, we use count. Once again, I'm just going to highlight these cells and let's highlight these cells again. And there we have it expressed as a percentage and multiply it by 100. So you can see it's actually returned exactly the same values because we're using 100. If we change that period, that look back period to 99 or 150, then it would give us the answer as a percentage. Now the final step to creating the CONUS RSI is the easiest of all. And we simply want to create an average of the three indicators. So we have the RSI, we have the RSI of the streak, and we have relative magnitude of the recent price change. And there we have the values of the Connors RSI. Now you can see in this spreadsheet how easy it was to calculate for ourselves. If you would like a copy of this spreadsheet, just click on the link and you'll find out on Trade Informed how to do this. If you'd like more videos like this, please hit the like button, please subscribe and also comment. Tell me what else you would like me to record a video about. And for more information about trading the financial markets, in particular about using Excel to backtest and test your trading strategies, go to www dot trade informed dot com